YouTube, Pierre from Pierre Speaks here, and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to get into something, uh, this, uh, this buzzing right now in the news. Yesterday was the, the, first, the first round of the NFL draft, and uh, here in Cleveland, that's always a big deal because Cleveland typically hasn't done well, and we are usually in the mix for a high pick this year little different but we we had two picks this year and um so today uh, uh the two draft picks one was a uh nose tackle from washington danny shelton the other was uh an offensive lineman cameron irving from florida state and uh they had their press conference with the the local media and then they had a um an interview with one of the local personalities here uh aaron goldhammer so yeah, I listened to the entire interview, and it was uh, they, I thought they were pretty good interviews, I, especially the part at after the the press conference part in the actual interview with Cameron Irving. When we've had young black men interviewed, and it could be for almost anything, but but typically it's been uh, in terms of entertainment, sports, figures, personalities, and they're interviewed, and if they give a, a good interview. You almost inexplicably get a reference from the interviewer afterwards that the young person speaks so well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I for the life of me I cannot stand when this happens. And I think at this point it's it's known that that's not necessarily a good thing to say after after a black man interviews. So I'm listening to this interview with Cameron Irving and it's it's clear that that he he would fall into this category of of young men that they would like to label as one who speaks so well. So after it was over, the two guys, Aaron Goldhammer and Emmett Golden, Aaron Goldhammer in particular, you 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 you, you can tell he stepped completely around it like he almost said it and he he was going way out of his way he was making a concerted effort to not say this now i'm not saying this is good or bad but it's just something that i noticed and what i would like for is one day for it to not be a thing i don't it, it's just a, i find it a shame that in 2015 it's still not the expectation of a young black man to be able to articulate himself, to be able to express himself in a cohesive and concise manner. I think, I, I understand that we still have bridges to cross. It's, it's still too easy to hold on to stereotypes. I think we have plenty of people that have proven or shown to to break the mold, but it's it's hard to get beyond the stereotypes, especially the ones that are um, in the mass media. And I guess that's the ones that we get more than anything is, is the depiction in the mass media, and people tend to hold on to those. But yeah, I, I know that I've been um, I've fallen victim to this before. That where I've met people, my parents my demeanor and the way I carry myself was not the expectation, so to speak. And they did, they really didn't know how to take me. So it was awkward in some regard. So it wasn't anything that, that made me, um, that made me go crazy or, or made me feel like I was being slighted. I never felt that way. I, I was totally aware of the way things were in, uh, in, the office environment, any office environment that I'm in, and that I do work in an office environment sometimes. But I don't let, unless somebody you know blatantly disrespects me, I'm not gonna go in and and try to look for things to uh, stir up and and really get bent out of shape about. I, I I kind of let people, I let my, I let my package speak for itself, but. After you speak with me, I think I can definitely put into your mind that I'm I'm a man who knows 
how to speak and I, and I can verbalize the things that are in here, you know, without making a fool of myself. Hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm accurate in that because I, I hate to think that I'm making a fool of myself on the internet right now. <laughs> At any rate, that's, that's all I got today. So I wanted to, uh, get this video out to you guys. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. This is Pierre from Pierre Speaks. Be well. That's my word. Peace.